isn't it? It's happening okay. fast, right? So we're going to get there, right? So I think the secret trick here is Gantt charts are going to go away. Planning is going to feel a lot more just in time. And you'll have, here's my design of what I want to build. And then orders start going out at the moment that they need to go out. Well, there'll be some, some form of supervision, yeah. right? But like, and you won't actually know what the internal Gantt chart is because I, in a sense, that's gone away. But you could think of it as, you know, a superimposition of millions of states of possible Gantt charts that can then collapse as you go, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're into physics in that way. That, a lot of those orders go to, and I, I don't think it necessarily needs to be humanoid, right? Because like, why does, yeah. well, why, why does a robot right? need to have two hands and a head, right? And there'll be like specialized mm. robotics that do certain things. Cars are basically yeah. some kind Special of... Self-driving trucks that bring the concrete. Yeah. Or Massimo, the, the one that was installing solar panels. Exactly. And data centers, yeah. yeah. Or like, you know, there'll be loads of, loads of this type of thing that can be fully automated to a certain extent. The question is like, what does that mean for the humans in that loop? And I think mm. it is kind of the same answer as software development, where the human now becomes the supervisor, yeah. right? And then you have everybody on a project needs to know more things because they're supervising more things.